<laughs> I just farted, but I hadn't hit record yet, so you don't get to hear it. After the really lovely response to the last video about struggling, thank you all so much for that, by the way. It was, it was a real, really heartwarming thing to receive. I thought I'd continue to dabble into the world of difficult to top topics to talk about, and... Yeah, this one's one that I don't really hear that many people talking about. I don't think I've watched any videos on it other than it mentioned in passing. And that is a reasonably common thing. Struggling to reply to messages. Why is it so hard to reply to messages? Now, I, don't, I know this doesn't affect everyone. But I know enough people to know that it's not just me or just a limited thing and actually just earlier today I saw on Facebook a couple of people had shared a message that was basically proclaiming that it's something it's not just you everyone's going through this right now everyone's spent no one's replying to messages everyone's just kind of off off the map a little bit and I thought I made it just even more relevant that, that I should sit down and talk about it a bit at least from my perspective so yeah the you know disclaimer this is just me this is just my experience of it i don't know if it applies to other people but hopefully just like the last video you'll find something to relate to something to think about and you know hopefully just feel a little bit less alone in this yeah there's definitely a very modern affliction like oh no i can't reply to these text-based messages that is appearing in my many inboxes oh Oh, woe is me. Don't have to worry about dying of thirst or hunger, but I can't reply to Steve. I'm sorry if your name's Steve. I don't actually have any friends called Steve, I don't think. Strangely, it's quite a common name. <laughs> this, this is something that I've struggled with at various points. Like, it's definitely not just something that is going on right now. And it's not even necessarily correlated with how I feel. What exactly am I talking about? That inbox creep, whether it be texts, instant messages, emails, someone sends you a message and you just don't feel able to reply to it in that moment. And then, you know, at some later point, it could be hours or, or days later, who knows, you know, another one appears and you still don't feel in a state to deal with it. And so, you know, it starts to build up, it starts to become a bit of an issue. And, you know, maybe a message comes in that you do feel able to reply to and you do reply to it straight away. Or, you know, there are people who you can feel like you can respond to, but not others. And that often just leaves you feeling even more guilty about the ones that you aren't replying to. It's not even necessarily anything particularly personal to them. It might have just been the nature of the message or the nature of the conversation or kind of relationship that you have. But nevertheless, you end up starting to feel more and more overwhelmed as the number of messages gets bigger. The, the weight gets larger and if it's hard now then it's likely to be even harder in the future so you end up getting into a bit of a hole really i think guilt is probably the primary emotion at play here but there's definitely just a general feeling of being overwhelmed and like otherwise incapable to do something that feels like it should be pretty simple and on the one hand, it's a pretty ridiculous problem to have. It's wonderful that there are people out there who want to communicate with me. That's really a truly amazing thing to be grateful for and to cherish. But it does unfortunately pose a real hazard. Uh, trying to keep up with it all is definitely taxing. Uh, both in terms of time, but more in terms of like emotional and social energy, which I think is even more applicable to the introverts out there like me. I think for me personally, it's even stranger because I kind of cut my teeth on the internet pretty early. I was using the internet at like, I don't know, 10 or 11 years old. And, you know, I remember MSN Messenger was the primary way that I communicated with my friends as a teenager. And it really cultivated a special bond between the people, the two people that were communicating because it was just that one-on-one -on -one time that you didn't necessarily have when you were hanging out in groups in, in the day. So it was, it was really important. It allowed me to connect with people much more deeply and get to know people and communicate across distance. Sometimes the distance just wasn't very far. It was just my friends who lived a few minutes walk away, but other times 
as the friendships kind of developed and more people came in it was people that I wouldn't see that often and that was that was a great thing uh, it really helped me open up and get out there more socially because I wasn't at all popular or confident at that time I had a very small group of friends and I just felt like a nerd and you know I wasn't hated by any means but I had a small group of friends and that was it and I sort of thought that's what my life was going to be but strangely as I did get more out there outgoing uh, maybe extroverted for a while I seem to have gone back towards introversion over the last couple of years but there was a point where I was pretty extroverted definitely going out and meeting lots of people and, and making friends uh, as as I've gotten more of that I seem to have lost the ability to feel comfortable communicating with people over messenger is it's no longer where my heart is at and I I need the body language and and the cues and everything that you get from seeing someone in person somehow that is just too important now in the social interaction that responding to texts has just become overwhelmingly disadvantageous or like just text messaging in general has become so much harder somehow and like it's not like it doesn't have advantages it does and i even like some of those advantages i like being able to think about what i'm going to say and obviously it has the advantage of allowing me to communicate with people who live far away and that, that remains the case I, i've sort of got myself into lots of different friendship groups all dotted all over the place so i have friends across the country that i don't get to see very often so if i want to communicate with them it's going to be via message so yeah there's just been a weird shift where what used to be my bread and butter is now something that i struggle with quite a lot on a pretty day-to-day -day basis and yeah it, you know it's really understandable the lack of social cues and being able to read and understand people in person it's how the vast majority of all communication has been done for the vast majority of entire the entirety of human history so it's not really that shocking that this very alien thing is something that we're not well adapted to we shouldn't really be giving ourselves a hard time if we find it difficult because it it's it's completely weird it doesn't doesn't make any sense we shouldn't be able to communicate with each other asynchronously through the through the borders of space <laughs> it's not really through the borders of space unless we're getting onto that like skylink i mean i'll i'll sign me up for one of those please yeah i would love that thanks give me one of those please elon another major aspect for this that makes it difficult for me i think is my perfectionism I think I've, I've done a lot to improve that over the last year especially. I think doing a number of things like this and like building the van that I was completely new at and not good at has really helped. It's helped ease my perfectionism, it's helped me realise that it doesn't really serve in, in a lot of scenarios. And that has definitely helped in my day-to-day -day life a great deal. I would recommend doing something that you suck at for improving your perfectionism if that's something you suffer with. But for some reason I don't seem to be able to get away with it really when it comes to messaging. I, I definitely have improved in that regard too, <clears throat> but it is difficult. I want to understand people and to show that I understand them. I want to be understood so that I so I want to explain myself clearly so the person I'm talking to will understand me therefore I, I'm, I'm modulating what I say and how I say it what reference points that we have in common to, to get that across and everything about the message is important everything about what I'm saying is important even if it's kind of trivial although at the moment it, it kind of isn't because life isn't trivial life is full of total madness it, it's both been absolutely ridiculously difficult and also incredibly amazing and that all needs to be conveyed somehow it's all important it's very much not a throwaway thing for me and i need the other person to know that i hear them and understand them or ask the right questions if i don't and so it's something that needs to be grappled with i want to hear people and i want to be heard and i want the communication to be meaningful and that's not easy to achieve a lot of the time it just isn't now the times that i do find it especially difficult is usually when i'm busy or depressed or perhaps both uh, that's definitely a thing too and then it's 
even that's maximum difficulty there doesn't really get any harder than that the busyness kind of gives limited time to to dedicate to these different conversations and depression makes generating what i want to say very difficult how much do i say i don't want to send some essay about how hard i'm finding everything every time i communicate with someone yet i also have a need to be honest and truly express myself and i'm naturally a wordy person so i mean that's probably self-evident i don't need to tell you that <laughs> and if you've exchanged messages with me you've probably noticed as well i don't know I occasionally find people who are sort of similarly wordy and then we end up sending basically letters to one another for a bit until one of us burns out. It's generally how it goes. So things get backed up and I rarely feel the bursts of energy required to reach out or rather reply because like, you know, when I'm backed up, starting a conversation seems impossible, which in some ways makes things even worse because I feel like there's a load of people who are important to me that I'm not communicating with at all because they haven't messaged me and obviously like I should be doing reaching out to people as well I don't expect everyone to just talk to me but I kind of mentally feel like I can't do it thankfully and I'm really grateful for the fact that I have a really understanding bunch of friends I don't really seem to have any friends that are like the posts and the things I occasionally see from reddit and stuff where they're having a go at someone for not replying or, or like getting on my case for not messaging them or something like that like I don't I just don't seem to have any friends like that and it might be because I have so many friends that also suffer from this affliction of really struggling to reply to messages on a you know at least a semi-regular basis uh, everyone seems to get it everyone is really understanding and like thank you friends for being so awesome but it's definitely a sad thing that right now when we're missing so much connection it's such a hard thing to execute on a youtuber that i recently became a big fan of struthless you should definitely check out if you like self-improvement getting through mental issues and blocks kind of content and also fun art stuff uh, he mentioned in a recent video about procrastination that he'll put off replying to a text for a week but has used the two minute rule which if you don't know what that is it means if something takes less than two minutes you should just do it right then and there and not plan to do it just do it so he uses a two minute rule to get past that procrastination block and just replies to the text there and then now this would be a great technique for me if replying to any a message ever took less than two minutes i mean i'm not saying it never takes less than two minutes but in the vast majority of cases it takes a lot longer than two minutes if i'm having to push myself to reply to something a message can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to half an hour to respond to and you know re responding to like four or five messages in an hour of trying is not that unusual Th that's when i'm having to push myself to do it which at times like this is often the only way to get it done and like annoyingly unlike stuff that i can kind of consider work like coding or making videos or something it doesn't feel that satisfying once you've done it like it kind of does if you get through a whole bunch or you or you somehow manage to clear like everything that feels pretty good because it's obviously a big weight lifted but if you just get a few done it's it's tough it for some reason doesn't come with much of a sense of satisfaction somehow and a lot of the time you'll start getting replies coming in which then sort of adds to the list again and they haven't really solved any problems <laughs> Other than the problem of actually communicating with humans, which is obviously an amazing problem to have and something that we should cherish and, and you know, em embrace with our full being. <laughs> it is a great thing. It's definitely an accomplishment. It, you know, even if it takes much more energy than it should, it's still a great thing to have done. And it, it feels to me like this affects quite a wide range of people, maybe in a form like this, maybe in an entirely different form. But regardless, I'd like to note I'd like you to know that you're not alone and hopefully the people around you understand I think we're all doing our best out here I wish I had more constructive things to say more techniques to make this easier but the fact is this is one of those things that I've never really managed to figure out I have been trying to just respond to like one message a day as a sort of daily habit that I can track and I mean that kind of works but it's not really clicked in the way that other atomic habits have 
And I mean, that would that would be enough for me to keep up. It's not like I'm super popular with people messaging me all the time. I'm sure if I could do that, that that would be fine to keep to keep the world off my back, man. No, it's not like that. It's um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm trying. And actually today I did really well, but it was because I had one of those bursts of energy because I had a job interview. That's actually why I'm wearing this shirt um, that went well. And in fact, even before it, I, I ended up waking up really early uh, by accident and had loads of time to repair, prepare. So before the interview, I had about half an hour and you know felt like in quite a good energetic place. And so I replied to a few messages and I managed to get a few more done later in the day. And it's kind of got to the point where it's not feeling so overwhelming. But yeah, just 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 know that you're not alone in this, especially right now. It seems like it's almost a universal affliction. So, you know, just keep doing your best. I think everyone out there is understanding. If you're someone who's getting no replies to your messages, then try to be understanding, try to have compassion. I think it's going to be all right. I, I, my optimism levels have definitely gone up substantially. Um, the weather's changed. There is a plan that makes a, a reasonable amount of sense, especially relative to the rest of the government policy since the start of the pandemic. And yeah, I think I think we're going to be cool. So yeah, cool, fine, peace. Yeah, cool. Yeah, bye. Yeah, sweet, sweet. Catch you in the next one. <laughs> bye.